Okay, it's Friday. That means time for another after workout leadership tip video. People tell me the engagement level on LinkedIn is way low on Friday, so I figure at least on LinkedIn, nobody will see this, so there's little risk in doing it. Okay, here is the leadership workout tip of the day, and it's management by walking around. So when I was in the media business, I, I traveled to Washington, D.C. to one of the broadcast media outlets that was wildly successful, the biggest revenue-generating radio station in the entire country for all companies. And I asked the general manager, a guy by the name of Joel Oxley, who's a legend in D.C., has had phenomenal success, and I asked Joel, how do you achieve such great success? Like, what's one tip you would give a leader? This is when I was really young, in my, in my early 20s, mid-20s, leading a, a news team, a team of reporters and anchors and sports play-by-play -play people like that. And, and Joel said to me, this is what he said to me, and I was kind of let down by his response. And then through the years, I've learned it was actually really smart. He said, Russ, my, my biggest tip for leaders is walk around. I'm like, that's it? Like, your secret to success is walking around? And then I realized, especially with the work I do now with organizations around culture, that when you're walking around, you're on the floor, whether it's a sales floor or a manufacturing plant or whatever industry it is, retail, restaurant, whatever it is, you're listening and checking in and hearing the beliefs that your employees uh, have. And so you, it's almost like an early detection system for the problems. As long as you've developed a, a belief about yourself that people can say what they really think to you. Otherwise, walking around does no good because people are fearful to say what they really think to you. But if you've developed the reputation that, yeah, people can say the hard things to you, and then you spend time every day or every week walking around listening in, in, the, in the healthcare industry, hospitals, they call it rounding. And rounding, if you're just checking a box, does no good. But rounding as a leader, as a, a nurse on a unit or whatever else, if you're listening for beliefs, you, you can really know what you need to manage, what, what the problems, what the challenges or successes are. So there's my leadership workout tip of the week. Next week, think about how much am I walking around, how much am I listening for the beliefs that people hold. By the way, a few of you DM'd me after the last few um, after workout videos. I record these after I leave the gym one day a week and then post them on Friday. A few of you DM'd me and said, Russ, please do not record these while driving. It's freaking me out. One of you had a friend that died um, being distracted as a driver. So this week I'm not moving, okay? I'm parked and recording this video. So hopefully that, that uh, makes you feel better. All right, have a great weekend, everybody.